Welcome to our top five commands, and this time it's all about routing. Your 48 acts as an OSI layer 3 device. It is used as a gateway between networks. It supports different protocols, dynamic protocols, static protocols. And the first command, our first command will be the get router info routing table and now there are two variants of that command you can see the full routing table including the inactive routes that's the uh, full routing table including inactive routes and you can see only the active routes and there we use the all with our command our next command um, which is very useful whenever we wish to see more details on a specific destination we can use the get router info routing table now we'll use the details for our destination and this one it's going to be the default route and we can see that when we ask for the default routes, we get two static routes. We get one from the WAN2 interface, and its IP address is the 10.0.5.2, and the second one, which is actually the active one, is the one from our WAN1 interface at the 10.0.3.1. We can also see the different administrative distance. The active one has an administrative distance of 10. The inactive one has an administrative distance of 20. There are times when you have two static routes to the same destination. Both static routes have the same priority, have the same administrative distance and you wish to load balance uh, the traffic between them. 48 load balances the traffic automatically, but the load balance algorithm can change. So let's change our two static routes to be within the same priority and administrative distance. Let's look at the both They are in the routing table, in the active routing table, and yes, they are. And now let's config system setting. Sorry for that. It always happens. And set v4 ECMP mode. ECMP is equal cost multipath. That says, actually, that whenever we have two static routes using the same priority and administrative distance, 48 will load balance the traffic. How will it load the traffic? Well, there are actually four different algorithms uh, using the same source IP, using an interface weight, usage, that is whenever on one interface you get into a specific threshold, the traffic moves to another interface, and you can also use the same destination and source IP. And now we move on to our fourth command, which is the Link Health Monitor. Link Health Monitor is a mechanism that protects your 48 from a route failover. Now assume that your 48 has two ISP connections, ISP1 and ISP2. The first connection, which is when one connection, is active since it has a lower distance. The second static route is not active active. Now whenever 48 notices that the route through WEN1 is not working anymore, it uh, transfers or it makes the second route, the second static route, it makes it active. 
it makes it active so it can route the traffic to the internet. How do we do it? We use a link health monitor. Config system link monitor, edit, that is the name of the link health monitor, set the source interface, and now set the server, that is the server that we will probe. Uh, it can be 8888, which is Google's DNS server, or any other stable server. Set the gateway IP. Now set the protocol, it can be a, using ping, or it can use um, TCP echo or UDP echo. And then set the update static route to enable. Moving on to our last command, which is the diagnose firewall pROute list. Now, this command actually shows us the policy-based routes table. Now, you can create a policy-based route, which is a much granular way to create routes using the policy routes under the network menu. Use it when use it carefully and use it only when you have a very specific needs from your route entry.